God made man in him saying, our image, our likeness. And let us do that. Very clear. Very clear. In these texts itself, in the Hebrew itself. And so what is this plurality of God like? What does that mean that God is plural? Well, we have examples of such as a team, a family, a flock, all being one, right? It's a plural term. These are plural terms, right? You can't have a team with just one person on it, right? You have to have more than one person on it, right? Uh, for example, if the baseball team went out and a team of players went out in baseball to, to run a, and chase a, a ball around a grass field, why on earth would they do that? I have no idea, right? <laughs> to make millions of dollars maybe, right? I don't know why anyone would pay to someone millions of dollars to have them run around and chase a ball in the field. But whatever they're uh, working... I mean, it's good exercise. Um, so, <laughs> yeah, so uh, as a team, they go out there. It's not one individual, and they have to work together. Right? Even if one of the players is super fantastically well, he can't win on his own. Right? There's one guy throwing the ball. There's another guy hopefully catching the ball. But if he gets hit before that guy catches the ball, hopefully someone else will catch the ball. And then they often have to throw it to somebody else to get him out. Right? So they have to work together as a team. Right? If it's hit to the shortstop, he doesn't run across the field to, to touch first base to get the guy out. Right? He throws it to the first baseman. Right? They, they're supposed to work together as a team, but they're still just a single team. Right? Growing up, and so he is this single team, or this single family all together. That he is this one family, this one team, or like a flock. Right? Flock of geese. Right? has more than one goose in the flock of geese, right? Uh, have you ever seen how they work together as a team? They're working together. They fly together in that like V formation, right? With one at the head, right? And, the, and they're moving along. And, and that one in the head, he's breaking the, the, the wind for them and taking all that heat from that. And he has to change, gets tired. And so he goes into the back. And then another one takes over as the lead. And they're constantly working that as a team, working together. To, uh, to reach the destination. Now, you notice, you notice that that V shape that they'll make as they're going along? Right. Yeah. And you ever notice that one side is often longer than the other side? You know why that is? There's more geese on that side than on the other side. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of people didn't understand that, but that's, that's how it works. But they're working together. Anyway, they're working together as a team, as one unit, to reach a unified destination and goal. Just as God, this God, Elohim, this plural God, has a purpose and a plan 